Fast, silent, sensorless, board drivers. This is weekly 3D printing DIY community news. So lots of things have been on going on lately. There have been lots of development in terms of new drivers and new 32-bit boards. Go through what's available at the moment. First of all, there's been kind of a battle between FizzTech and the big three tech regarding development now lately and you know out of the blue big three tech they suddenly released their um, 30, 32 bit board for um, Marlin 2.0 and Fistech not long ago released the F6 board which is just another ramps board really but just um, yeah, a little bit more features, more uh, ports, more uh, fan ports, uh, another driver, and so on. Um, but I mean, we are really moving away from the 8-bit boards now. So and I don't know how much purpose the F6 board does anymore. But Fistec also have been silently um, developing an all-in-one board. It actually looks like a display. But it also is a controller. Here, here is the Fistic IO board, all in one board. So this is actually a controller. It looks like a 12864 mini display, but then on the back you have the drivers and everything. So it's actually a 32-bit board. We have the ST820 steppers, which run at 256 mic micro stepping. It runs small in 2.0. It's a very compact size, all in one board which could be interesting for some printers like the Wii Baby when it gets up and running when we don't need like a lot of extruders and so on I have ordered one so that will be uh, reviewed um, at the future so subscribe for those uh, reviews and Fistec also released this Cheetah board it's actually for the Ender 3 Primarily, it has integrated drivers. So those are the 2209s, which are currently not supported all the way in Malin, um, but they, it will be soon. Uh, which means we can utilize the stall guard detection for sensorless homing and so on. And the Stealth Shop 2 also on these drivers. So that's from Fistec. Let's move over to uh, Big Tree Tech. Let's go to big three tech and see what's going on uh, because they're they're just <laughs> releasing parts all over the place or components rather and um, yeah started with the SKR board first was <laughs> version 1.1 which was out like a couple of weeks then 1.3 came which has uh, UART you know uh, nice UART features you don't need the solder and so on a lot of loose cables we don't want that so integrated the more integrated UART option in the SKR 1.3 board and then suddenly now Big 3 Tech released the SKR Pro board with, with a better MCU and um, it's a little bit bigger also it had some more options I've not looked closely into that but I will link to the boards in the description so you can have a look at what's going on let's go to their store and see also big tree tech recently have been updating their tmc the trinamic clones the 2208s so they have been in like version 2 and 3 now actually version 3 lately um, where you don't need to solder again for the uart option so that's nice but then suddenly we have TMC 2209. I have all these drivers here. I'm gonna review those as well. So again, subscribe for future reviews and future news, weekly news on this channel. So all the drivers from Big, D big Tree Tech, big step forward. I mean, stall guard is what we want in the future, of course, for sensorless homing. We have the SKR boards, uh, which I'm big talking about, and I will also link to those in the des uh, description. So let's have a look at what's the difference between between the TMC 2209 and the 2208. So the 2209's peak current 2.8 amps. We have stall guard. We have UART no soldering. We have cool stop function. 
So here is a table of the difference between the 2208 and the 2209. Recently surfacing the 50 series from the Trinamic uh, clones. I might look into that next week. So that was just quickly what's new in the DIY community. And uh, I hope you enjoy this short uh, news update. And if you do, uh, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more. And I will be back with another design vlog on the VBaby. And here are some more stuff for you to watch. If you are into advanced DIY 3D printing, then here is more stuff to watch for you guys.